the tracking aspect, I want to you know dive into that a bit because you know one of the things about uh, I think about you hit that um, you know because everything you do with you hit is on a phone, right? You, you you're looking at the field on a phone, you're looking at the pitch coming at you, you're looking at the pitcher on a phone, whether I, it's softball or for baseball, which is you know obviously you're not bat in hand when you're you're doing that, right? You're not actually seeing the ball come like right next to you. You are seeing the view that you would have up at the plate, right? Whether you're in the right box or the left box, or when you do your assessment, we actually put you kind of in a catcher's view almost to just balance out lefties and righties. But what we're doing is basically giving you something to do while tracking the pitches, right? You're not swinging a bat, right? But we're making you use your hands in a certain way. And really what it is is you just, you know, you tap on the screen if you think it's a strike, as quickly as you see it before the ball gets to you, right? You're not doing it afterwards, otherwise you're an umpire, right? So that's, uh, that's you know, and, and that time element for hitters is particularly important, right? So to be able to, so in our approach, it's we're, we're having you kind of track pitches, but actively. It's not just that you look at it, you go, okay, that was a strike, and now I go to the next pitch comes, which would be in a slightly different place maybe, and then I'll either hit it or I don't. But each pitch, you're having something that you have to do with your hands. Either tap the screen as quickly as you recognize that pitch being in the zone or stop yourself, right? Because every hitter, all the best hitters, they are ready to go on every pitch. They are ready to swing. And that's the thing. And that's, that's the thing. You'll see somebody walk up to the plate. And when we talk about anticipate, it, it happens. You're visually thinking about something before he's even getting the signal. Yeah. He's on the mound, and you're thinking, <clears throat> hit, 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 hit. And if it's not the pitch that you're looking for, you simply take it. Just take Stay it. Out. Exactly. Just yeah. let it go. And that, that – I'll, I'll actually give some insight on the, on the brain science side of things, something that we found in our research well before you hit was a thing. This is back in the early days when this was a science project at a university was that we found that in the brain, when a hitter is deciding to take a pitch, it looks like a ton of activity is going on, right? And we thought initially, we thought, well, this is because, you know, uh, this is just a, a hallmark of good hitters, right? Of hitters, period, right? Because we had hitters versus non-hitters originally. But it turns out that it's really the, the hitters who know how to turn on that activation of shut it down, right? Which is a ton of activity because they're so revved up to go, right? That they have to counteract that with a, like this huge like kind of I call it a firestorm of activity to just shut it down and that's just taking the pitch right and so and that is such a crucial skill to be able to do it's you know it's of course important to be able to pull the trigger when you know that's the pitch you want and to be able to put the right swing on it but being able to let those pitches go that are not in like you're talking about that fastball away right that's going to be an 18 hopper to third base for the shortstop I mean, those are the kind of pitches that, you know, if you know that's not the one you're looking for, and the quicker you can recognize that and say, you know, <laughs> that's not going to be on the tee where I expect it to be, just let it go. That's a skill that is developed through repetition. We do it with Coach Hewitt uh, with custom training. You can do it by getting in a, in a batting cage with a curveball machine, a pitching machine, or a coach who's got, a, you know, an iron arm and can <laughs> throw you as many right. pitches as possible. But that, that aspect of, you know, being able to recognize a pitch uh, and know that it's the pitch you're looking for or it's not is this kind of way – the way we've thought about it is it's like a template matcher, right? You're looking for a template of the ball's going to be here, and I'm, I'm looking for it to be here. And if that pitch that comes is not fitting that template, if it's over here, if it's over here, you just have to shut it down, that firestorm of activity, and be like, no, okay, no. All right, and then when it hits that spot that you're looking for, where you would have put the ball right on the tee, that's the one you go on. And of course, you know, it's all dependent on the variables of the game. If you want to make sure you're getting on, you're getting on base, you're going to be expanding the strike zone a bit with two strikes, right? If you are, you know, early in the count, though, you can be a lot more picky about this. And again, it depends on what kind of hitter you are, right? There's, uh, there are kind of two camps that we've seen and I'm sure you've seen it too in your instruction too, that, you know, there's the, I think predominantly we see in youth and, and college aiming. So college preparatory, like high school 
that there's this focus on like, what is your spot in the zone? And if it's not in that zone, just let it go. It could be a strike still. Um, or there's a, a kind of another camp, which is more focused on just getting on base, right? Put the ball on the play in a, you know, if it's a, if it's, you know, kind of getting, getting through the middle, whatever it is, uh, taking pitch that's out of the zone uh, to be able to, you know, draw a walk. So that's more like kind of what I call the get on base hitting philosophy. So you have kind of like the slugging philosophy, home runs, maybe some strikeouts along the way. And then you also have like the getting on base uh, philosophy. And, you know, what we saw with you hit was that until we could explain to, or, you know, really show hitters and coaches that we're able to help the ability to recognize that the pitch is going to be in your spot on the tee sooner, right? That helped you get your swing to where you wanted it to be to meet the ball there. And that was translating into more slugging, right? On the, on the flip side, once you're able to recognize that, you know, this pitch that's landing over here, that's not where I was looking for it. Or this pitch that's landing over here, that's not where I was looking for it, right? Over time, you start generalizing that approach to other parts of the zone, right? And then you take a one, one type of swing for the pitch that lands here. You might have a different type of swing for a pitch on this part of the zone, right? Inside part of the zone versus outside, let's just say, as an example low in the zone versus higher in the zone. And so over time, that ability to recognize the pitch sooner with something like you hit custom with our customized approach with Coach Hewitt allows you to then generalize that strategy of being like, if it's in that zone I'm looking for or not, I'm able to recognize that sooner. You can do that then to other parts of the zone. And so all of a sudden you start merging this ability to not just drive the ball for the part of the zone that's, that you're already good at, but also you're able to now apply that skill to different parts of the zone so that all of a sudden the on-base percentage side starts elevating as well. And so, you know, for us, our, our, our big, you know, indicator for are we helping is on-base plus slugging, right? So are you getting on-base or are you driving the ball when you do get a hold of one? And so that's really been kind of our indicator for are we helping? It doesn't matter if you just get good at you hit. It doesn't matter if you just hit great in the cage, right? It matters if what you're doing translates to getting on base and scoring runs. And so for us, OPS has been the biggest thing that we look at, whether it's our college teams, whether it's uh, you know some of our high school teams that keep track of that info, and even some of our professional uh, players now too.